Hello and today we are bringing to you a special report as we had the chance of being invited by Alangen Zöhne, the German fine watchmaking brand, to a marvelous event in Italy that will set the scene for a focus on the Lange One time zone. So for once we will not be too Swiss centered and this is absolutely fine, trust me. So off we went with our watchmobile direction, the Lake of Como, crossing the Mont Blanc Tunnel, the Piemonte region and ended up just up north of Milano in an unbelievable beautiful scenery as we attended one of the most glamorous car related event in the world, the Concorso d'Eleganza della Villa d'Este. Lange and Zöhne has been partner of this event since six years now and the winner of this very exclusive competition receives a special Lange One time zone reason why I wanted to treat myself as a winner too by risk testing this fine timepiece. I've always been a great fan of the Langen 1, it has always appealed to me and it's for sure very distinctive you recognize the Langen 1 immediately. So regarding the time zone, well it's not a new model in their collection but it was uh, indeed the first time I could wear it for a couple of days and I must say it felt rather good and even more so in these very glamorous circumstances. Italians and their natural chic, beautiful cars, good food and wonderful wines, well what else can you ask for? Oh yeah, maybe taking a Riva boat on the Lake Como to get and come back to this fabulous venue was yet another fantastic little treat. One could on Unfortunately, get used to this, uh, I have to admit, but let's get back on this timepiece and its main characteristic. And the first thing I want to say is that it's a very convenient and simple watch to use. Like on almost all Lange 1 model, apart from the Tourbillon QP versions, the time is displayed in the main sub dial found at 9 o'clock with hour and minute hands and Roman numerals. You will find a small second indicator at 6 o'clock of this sub dial and by the way this is a stop second movement meaning that once you pull the crown well this second hand stops and this is naturally very convenient if you want to set up uh, super precisely your watch. Stop it on zero, adjust the minute hand and push the crown back on that exact passage of that minute scene on your atomic clock you keep in your living room and you're precisely set. But let's talk about the main feature of this watch, the second time zone. At 8 o'clock on the case you have a push button that lets you select the second time zone you want to display on the smaller hour and minute sub dial found at 5 o'clock. And at 5 o'clock of this dial you will find a small arrow pointing at the main city of the desired time zone and by being in this position well you can easily read this indication. I have to admit that pushing this button is a pleasure in itself and is yet another fine example of what fine watchmaking is all about. It's so smooth, you don't have to push it hard, it just goes in so nicely and when the 24 hour disc finally moves by one increment it's just super gentle but precise at the same time. You can really feel some pretty serious engineering and manufacturing behind this mechanism and it's really in these small details that you mark a difference and of course being a thorough tester I played a few times with this button and I always got the same response from it, really nice. So let's continue and on the main dial you can clearly see a day night indicator found at 12 o'clock and the cool part of this watch is that you will also find this feature on the second time zone and these are naturally synchronized. Yet another little detail but I have to say that this is very practical because you simply don't have to think if it's day or night on that second time zone. Well you see what I mean like uh, can I call now or not? Is it 4 p.m. or 4 a.m.? Well no excuse with this watch. And at 3 o'clock you have a power reserve indicator, ab auf, yes it's German, and this watch actually uh, holds a power reserve of 72 hours for this hand wound movement beating at 21,600 oscillation per hour meaning 3 hertz. And finally, and of course you have the big date typical of all Lange 1 models and you can uh, adjust super rapidly this date with the push button found at 10 o'clock and needless to say that it's smooth too, a nice feeling again. But as we were there, well we had the chance of having all the new Lange of the year not only put on display but we could actually test them and uh, well uh, that was of course again pretty nice. So a bit of money in this room but something I really liked was a wall display with all the different moon indicators used on their timepieces. I could actually think of having this in front of my bed and helping, helping me dream a bit more. So coming back on the event itself, well there were plenty of nice cars to say the least, ranging
ranging from early 1920s to late 60s, split in different categories, and the conditions of these cars are out of this world. You could really feel that their owners are also putting a lot of passion in these uh, machines that often probably uh, kind of looked even better than when they came out of the factory. This was a super nice event and the car that won best of the best was a 1957 Alfa Romeo Giulietta SS Prototipo and as I uh, mentioned in the its lucky owner got even luckier by winning a unique timepiece like the one I've been talking about but with a special Como case back engraving and instead of having Berlin as the main town of our GMT plus one time zone well on this version it's naturally written Como. So just for info this Lange one time zone comes in uh, three versions platinum white gold and this pink uh, gold I had the opportunity to wear and just uh, for fun and as a little treat Rolls-Royce used this Concorso d'Eleganza to showcase their most expensive car ever produced. This was a, a car like a tank of uh, tank-like proportions, a one-off uh, which has been made for a special customer and with more than five years in the making well apparently costed 11 million dollars so not bad for a two-seater of that size. So let's finish this report with just a couple of nice sequences, thank for your time and see you real soon.